Nucleic acids and applications in pharmacy. The cells that make up the human body have nucleic acids. And this nucleic acid tells the cell tells the cells how to function. Nucleic acids are the hereditary determinants of living organisms. That is, they determine the genetics of a cell. The term nucleic acid is the general name for DNA and RNA. So, so whenever you hear of RNA and DNA, remember that they are nucleic acids. They are the macromolecules present in most living cells, either in the free state or bound to proteins as nucleoproteins. Now, nucleoproteins have three components and they are a 5-carbon sugar, a phosphate group, and a nitrogenous base. If the sugar is a compound ribose, the polymer is RNA, that is ribonucleic acid. If the sugar is derived from ribose as a deoxyribose, the polymer is DNA, that is deoxyribonucleic acid. Nucleic acids are biopolymers of high molecular weight with mononucleotides as their repeating units. So, they are made up of mononucleotides. Types and forms of nucleic acids There are two forms of nucleic acids, that is the DNA and the RNA. Now, the bulk of the DNA is found in the chromosomes of the nucleus in the eukaryotic cell. But it can also be found in the mitochondria and chloroplasts as well. The hydrolysis of nucleic acids yields three components. That is, a phosphoric acid, a pentose sugar, and a nitrogenous base. When represented in a tabular form, let's draw a table. One part we call a component, one part is for RNA, and one part is for DNA. Now, the three components are, as I said before, phosphoric acid, a pencil sugar, and a nitrogenous base or nitrogenous bases. So, when we pick a component, phosphoric acid, under RNA and DNA, they are both going to have phosphoric acid. Now, under pencil sugar, RNA will have D ribose and DNA will have D2 deoxy ribose. Now, nitrogenous bases. Now, there are two types of nitrogenous bases and they are purines and pyrimidines. So, purines under RNA will yield adenine and guanine. And under DNA, we also yield adenine and guanine. Pyrimidines under RNA will yield cytosine and uracil. And under DNA, will yield cytosine and thymine. We're going to talk about the three components to properly understand them. Now, phosphoric acid, there's nothing more to talk about in phosphoric acid. We're just going to know the molecular formula. So the molecular formula of phosphoric acid is H3PO4. Now pentose sugar. Now the sugars found in nucleic acids are pentose sugars. A pentose sugar has five carbon atoms, and from the name you know that it has five was pent. So pentose sugar. So if you hear hexose sugar, you know it will be six. And if you hear hepto sugar, you know it to be seven. So pentose sugar has five carbons, has five carbon atoms. Ribose found in RNA is a normal sugar with one oxygen atom attached to each carbon atom. So from the structure, you can see that every carbon atom has an oxygen atom attached to it. Then the oxyribose found in DNA is a modified sugar lacking one oxygen atom, hence the name deoxy. So the difference of one oxygen atom is important for the enzymes that recognize DNA and RNA. 
because it allows these two molecules to be easily distinguished inside organisms. So this little thing that you see, maybe you think is a fault, is actually very important so that, that there is no mistake in identifying the oxyribose and ribose inside an organism. Nitrogenous bases. The two types of nitrogenous bases found in the nucleic acids are purine and pyrimidine. All nitrogenous bases have a six ring with four carbon atoms and two nitrogen atoms. A purine has additional five sided ring created by one carbon atom and two nitrogen atoms while pyrimidines have just a one six just one six sided ring now if that if that is too confusing for you you can simply say guanine and adenine are double ring purine molecules while cystosine thymine and uracil are single ring pyrimidine molecules Now, thymine and uracil are chemically similar molecules. Thymine is present in DNA while uracil is present in the RNA. From the structure of the thymine and uracil, you can see that the only difference found is in the fifth carbon atom. It's in the fifth atom, which is carbon. Both of them have the fifth atom as carbon, but the difference is that Thymine has an extra attachment of CH3 while uracil doesn't have an attachment, it just has H. So this little difference is what makes them different. While as we see cytosine has is, is almost like the opposite of them. While every other thing is similar, it does not have an oxygen. The oxygen is replaced with an amine. That is NH2 and then on the third atom which is nitrogen there is no hydrogen so that is just what differentiates the cytosine from both the thymine and uracil so remember thymine and uracil are very similar and while both of them have oxygen cytosine has an amine 